you're watching Dave's TV. And now to Dave in his man cave. Take it away, Dave. What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave's TV, and welcome to the man cave. Welcome to the channel. Let's get to the beer review here. Got another one here from Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. This is their Depth Perception Imperial IPA. And it is 9.1% ABV. So let's see what they got on here. Depth Perception Imperial IPA begins with a series of complex malts far off in the distance. The use of three distinct bittering hops brings this beer more into focus while the three varietals of dry hops get you in an up close and personal view of this three dimensional IPA. Hops are CTZ, Chinook, Crystal, Dry Hop, CTZ, Sentinel, and Simcoe. Malts are the two row malted wheat, Caramalt, and Crystal 45. Says it's available in a six pack, 12 ounce cans, 12 pack of 12 ounce cans, 19.2 ounce single serve cans, and IP survival kit. Well, I just happened to have the 19.2, and this is one, one I got from a Wawa. Computer, get some dinner. What don't you guys have? That's mine. You're making it right now. <laughs> oh my God. What is this magical place? Wawa. Freshly made hoagies, smoothies, and so much more. Welcome to Wawa. You knew about this? So, that is what she looks like. So, let's get into it. All right, ooh, about went over. Got a beautiful gold color to it. Uh, yeah. Hold on, guys. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna get down into the taste first. All right, let's give it a smell. I'm not getting much on the smell. IBUs, by the way, are 75. Gonna be full, dank, resiny, bitter. I'm getting some, uh, damn, getting it all over my gator blanket. I'm definitely getting some citrus grapefruit. I'm smelling it now. And that's about all I'm getting, so let's get to the taste. Cheers, everyone. Okay. Definitely getting that pininess, that dank, dankness on it. Getting some of the grapefruit. Man, I'm making a mess. Hold that thought. I need to put a paper towel over right here. All right. This. All right. Okay, you definitely getting the dankiness on there. Um, <clears throat> bitterness is there on the back end. I'm getting the citrus, grapefruit, and I'm not getting much else on there. It's got a pretty good taste to it. Um, it is okay. There is a maltiness to it. Other than that, that's about all I'm getting on the taste. Um, not too impressed with this one. I bought it. Would I probably buy it again? Probably not. Um, 
it's got a good flavor. It's just not, I thought this was going to be a really, really good one. That's about all I'm getting, folks. Um, you're definitely getting that uh, grapefruit, a little bit of maybe some orange in there too, not much. You're definitely getting that dankiness, that uh, resiny, bitter taste to it on the back end. Uh, maltiness, you're getting the maltiness on there. The hoppiness is, uh, excuse me, it's obviously there because of the bitterness on there. And yeah, it's got the bitterness. I like the bitterness to be up there, 75. So, um, it's an okay beer. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Would I drink it again? Yeah, I'll drink it again. Somebody gave me one. Um, you're not getting much on the alcohol, so you probably want to take your time with one of these because it'll creep up on you. That being said, please subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and comment. Let me know if you've had a Terrapin Beer Company um, death perception. Let me know what your comments are. Let me know what you think of it. Please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Cheers, everyone. up.